Sensational. So what is it? What is it to be sensational? What does that even mean? I'm going to drop that hashtag right here. Guys, how are you doing today? I hope you're all doing well, staying safe out there. Did you, did you call your mom today and say, hey, I love you? You know, talk to a loved one once in a while. It's okay. They're not here forever. Let's love them while we got them, right? All right. So, a little bit different, right? So I said sensational, and I know a lot of you guys out there, and girls, whatever, probably rolled your eyes and, oh, that, what's up with this dad jokes? What's going on here? Well, I am a dad, and I do make those jokes, so there you go. That's why you get dad jokes like that. But sensational, for um, some of you, it, it may be a surprise, too, why I said that. And some of you, it's not. If you were there with uh, Mr. Yost Coast himself and myself, Last week over on Instagram, you'll know that um, I wanted to put this whole thing together. I just couldn't figure out a name. And uh, I wish um, the viewer, I, I wish you really screenshot and sent me the name. But uh, somebody else came up with the idea of Sensational, and I thought I would roll with it. So um, as we move along and go through you know, the videos and the content and stuff like that, I am going to give you more of a background about myself and uh, what I bring to the table and all that kind of stuff. But this is one way for me to express myself. So about six years ago, I made a venture into this whole men's grooming um, thing that I'm not gonna touch on a whole lot here in, in this segment. This is a little bit different than some of the content that I'm gonna be bringing you down the road, but this is a huge part of it. So I went on this men's grooming journey and there is a whole story behind it that I will share with you in time. I promise. But uh, one thing that I really love to do, and I do want to know, I would love it if you guys would start a conversation with me about this. I don't care if you guys are involved in wet shaving, if you're um, beard product enthusiast, hair product enthusiast, fragrance, whatever the case is, I would like to know if you guys like to pair different scents with each other, even if it's a beard oil and a different beard butter or beard balm from a different brand. I want to know what you guys like to pair because that's what this is all about. It's all about what scents you like to pair together, why you do what you do, and what kind of profile do you make out of it? Because that's that's really what this is all about. So um, basically, some of it comes from me just kind of playing around in the collection. Once in a while, I do like to go into my, uh, my collection of everything and kind of come up with a, a profile that I think at least smells pretty good and kind of goes with other products. Sometimes... You know, I'll go into the pomade collection, I'll start smelling different hair products, and I'm like, oh, this reminds me of such and such beard oil or such and such fragrance, right? And then I, my mind starts going, and that's, that's what it is. Guys, girls, no matter what the case is, we are all fragrance lovers to an extent, right? Because what draws us into these products? Yes, they're great. We have to like the products themselves, but ultimately, at the end of the day, if it doesn't smell good, you're not putting that anywhere near your body. You're gonna to toss it in the garbage, you're going to send it back to a company, ask for a refund, you know, whatever the case is, but you're not going to wear it. We're all fragrance lovers. If you don't wanna admit it, that's fine, don't admit it to me, you're not gonna hurt my feelings. <laughs> but we all love fragrance. Maybe we don't wanna spray a fragrance on ourselves, but we do love the scent that comes off our beard, right? We like the scent that comes off of our hair. My buddy Drew, back in the day, he used to do the whole walk backwards to smell the, uh, to smell the product and, um, you know, you, you, could, you, you, you do love scents to, to a certain degree is, is the point, obviously. So, like I was saying before, um, I am going to jump around, skip around a lot, um, but uh, that's just me. That's just kind of what it is. Um, but yeah, I do like to dabble within my collection and see what, what, kind, what just pairs well with each other. Or what can go together. What smells good, at least to me. What's going to make me feel good. And then sometimes I go a little bit further and say, okay, what can I accentuate? If I do this, this, and this, what do I want to be like the standout? And that's what I'm gonna show you today with four products. This is something that I do. Now, I do wanna preface by saying this. Anything that I show you in this video, I really want you guys to really focus in here. You don't need any of these products. You don't need them. That's not the point of this. The point of this, is just to see if you guys, just to engage in conversation, really, to see if you guys like to pair different products together. That's what I want to know. That's what the conversation needs to be about today. Do you guys like to do that, you know? And uh, that's what I'm going to be bringing here with four products that you don't need. This is just something that I, you know, I have. So 
I paired these together the other day. It was um, it was Tuesday is when I uh, is when I paired these products together, and the the profile actually worked so well that I did it again. Um, I was very excited about this. So I'm gonna start today with the uh, with the hair product. I'll go from the the hair product to the beard oil to the nope. I did that backwards. So it's gonna be hair product first. So this <clears throat> was released just recently. This is by uh, Templeton Tonics. This is the uh, Grizzly Matte Paste. So the scent on this, use it quite a bit. So basically what it is, what I get off of it at least, is it's a, it's a smoky campfire, but it's done differently. You know, you guys that are in the beard, into the beard products and that, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. There's plenty of scents that kind of replicate the, um, that whole um, like campfire experience. That experience is here. That smokiness is definitely here, but it's also clean, which is very, very strange in a good way, to say the least. So it, it's like a, a clean, toned down, yes, it's smoky, it's prominent. Um, you definitely get that up front and uh, center. There's no mistaking that, but it's, it's done, it's blended so well that it's like, a smoky, you get that smoky, woodsy vibe that you normally get from those campfire type scents, except this is like a cleaned, cleaned up version of that. So it's not overly potent and aggressive. It's very laid back. It's like, okay, there's some smokiness. They get the little, you know, the, uh, the woodsy vibe there, but um, it's not polarizing. It's not extremely, you know, polarizing and potent. It's just, it's there and it's cleaned up. It's a very clean, smoky scent. If that makes any sense to you at all, it may not. And hey, if it doesn't make sense to you, I get it. I understand. The whole point of this is to smell scent-sational. <laughs> so next up is uh, something else. This is uh, an aftershave here that I'll show you. This is Plunder by Noble Otter. So what I get now, if you looked up the, uh, the scent notes here, which I'll list the scent notes for everything down below. I don't wanna make this thing like 20 minutes long, so I'm not gonna go over entire scent notes. I'm just gonna give you what I get off of it. So with this one here, um, what I'm left with when it's dried on my skin is, a, is more of a woodsy, a little bit of smoke, and that has to do with, um, I believe it's gunpowder that's in this. I, I, I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, you'll notice the difference of what I just said and what's in the scent description. In, uh, in its accurate form. But um, I get like a gunpowder type smokiness. Also um, pairs very well with the uh, hair product. Don't know why I went like that, but I did it. Um, so pairs very well. Now where I take this whole smoky <clears throat> vibe and change it up a little bit is actually with the beard oil. So I do have a, a full review of the Bearded Mac Roaring 20s. Um, I do have a full review on this, my Instagram, which I'll link below. You can check that out. Um, I, I don't believe that I moved it over to uh, to YouTube, but that's all right. Anyway, moving forward. So this, I know, I know, I know, I know. I get it. A lot of people in the beard community just went, what the heck is he talking about? How is he going to make smokiness and all that? And then this, which is a unique take on a barbershop. How is that going to work? Well, hang on with me a bit here. So... This one here, what's prominent here to me, this is what I'm picking up off of my nose. <clears throat> yes, this is a barbershop. Different type of barbershop. It's not what you're thinking. Not smelling like an 85 year old man, okay? It's not what it's going for. What he was going for here was a, a more modern take, a more gentleman take on, uh, on what is typically known as a barbershop. So yes, this definitely does have a, a like floral slash powderiness to it, but it also has notes like cherry. Um, the cherry is uh, cherry tobacco. And then you also have leather and other notes too that I'll list below. The cherry, the cherry pipe tobacco is what I really wanted to bring out here. So I thought in my mind, this would work really well paired with the, uh, the two products that I already had mentioned. Bring that cherry note out a little bit more into the forefront because of the spicy nuances now that are going around in my head and uh, neck area. So <clears throat> the cherry pipe tobacco is really, really what stands out to me here and also the leather. But the leather, again, because of the smokiness that's going on, 
The leather more so blends in with those and the cherry is really what pops out. Then we move on to the fragrance. So the fragrance is relatively newer to my collection. It looks like crap because it has fingerprints all over it. But this is uh, from House of Siage. And this is double, double zero 001. This is probably one of the coolest bottles I have. Just, it's pretty neat. So this is a like cherry gourmand fragrance. Um, when I took a look at the notes, I was assuming this was going to be like more in the, the Tom Ford Lost Cherry kind of cherry liqueur, which you do get. You definitely do get, now do you see where I'm going with this? You definitely do get the, uh, the cherry liqueur. Now, <clears throat> the cherry liqueur note that's in there and the cherry, the way that the cherry blends in with this, they really pair almost perfectly with each other. And then you have more of those spicy components that come out. So the overall kind of sillage, or somebody else said this too, <clears throat> scent halo that I have going on here is just magnificent. It, it's an overall, it's a beautiful blend of smoke and cherry notes. And it just, <clears throat> it just blends so well with each other. It's so nice. And I'm telling you, when, when this stuff, when you have all this going on, combined with each other, it just, oh, it's delicious. What else could I say? You smell phenomenal. I smell phenomenal. <laughs> it just, it is what it is. So that's kind of where I want to leave you guys. Do you guys do this? Do you guys pair products together? Do you guys like to take different things and kind of Play with them and smell smell, um, smell them on yourself. Do you guys do this? Do you do this type of thing? I don't even, it doesn't matter to me if it's not to this extent. I just want to know, don't be shy. Leave a comment down below. Let me know, also, let me know if you enjoyed this. <clears throat> even if you didn't take anything away from it, let me know if you enjoyed what you saw here. I'm going to be bringing you more segments like this as time goes on. So please let me know how I did. Did I do a good job? Did it suck? What do you think, man? Hey, if nothing else, have a great day today. Make someone's day. Make a difference. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Later.